welcome everyone to Music With Me, Miss Julie. And today I'd like to look at two kinds of sounds. One sound is going to be a long sound and the other is going to be a short sound. So first of all, I need to put down my ukulele. And I want to begin by showing you two pictures. The first one on this side, a snake is going to make my long sound. And this word here says hiss. So that will sound like hiss. And this word says long, because this is going to be my long sound. Over here, we have a crocodile, and this word says snap, snap, rather like the snap of the crocodile. And this one looks like he's got a fish in his mouth. This word here says short, because that's going to be my short sound. My long sound is and my short sound will be snap. Now, my next page is a pattern. A pattern of these two different sounds. So I'll put this back on my music stand. And I'm going to read through the page and I'll say the sounds as I go along, like this. S snap. S snap. S snap. Snap. S snap. Snap. Snap, 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 S That would be a fun game to play with a friend. One of you could do the long sound of the snake and the other one could do the short sound of the crocodile, the snap. But I was thinking what do I have with my musical instruments that would be good for making a long sound? And what do I have that would be good for making the short sound? And these are two things that I chose. The first one is my rain stick. And if you listen to a rain stick, It takes a little while for the sound to trickle down. So I'm going to use that for my s. And then I had to think hard, what could I use for the crocodile? So I'm going to swap over because I decided to use my clappers. And the clappers look a little bit like a maraca, a shaker, but the two pieces of wood on either side here snap together a little bit like the crocodile's jaws. Sounds like So I thought that would be good for my snap. So this time, <clears throat> what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to read through my page again, but I'm going to use the two different instruments, my clappers and <laughs> my rain stick. It's a little bit tricky, you've got one in each hand, but if you were doing this with a friend, it would be easier. So starting here, the first one is and then snap. Same again. And snap. Now I'm on this line. I would do hiss. Snap. Snap. All the way here now. That's another snap. Snap. And finally, the last line is a snap, 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 and a... So those were two that I thought of, but you can probably think of some more instruments that would make a long sound or a short sound. If you don't have many instruments around your house, that's okay too, because you might think of some sounds that are short and long in everyday things. If someone knocks at your door, do you think that the knock would be a short sound or a long sound? I think the knock would probably be a short sound. But there's another instrument and sometimes something else that rings at your door, like a doorbell ringing. This one rings too. It's called a triangle. And I want to tell you that things that ring often last a little bit longer. You can still hear that sound going. And things that we knock together, like the clappers knocking together, they're often a short sound. So if you have some wind chimes outside, maybe they make a long sound. A look around your house and see what you think. What's long sound? What's a short sound? And this game is fun to play with a friend, reading through the pages or somebody could be the conductor and just point at whichever one they want to play. So if someone was a snake they'd have to be looking did the conductor point at the snake? If the other person's a crocodile, oh, is it me? Is it my turn to make the sound? I hope you enjoy playing a long and short sound game. But for now, get back the ukulele. <laughs> It's time for me to say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to you, goodbye, goodbye, and how do you do? Bye for now, everyone. Bye for now. See you next time.